to just find out exactly how serious this, this situation is. We found online message boards with people posting comments like these. Well, I was wondering if I could just stick a clonopin pill in my vagina and it would do the same thing as vaginal Valium in a suppository form. I figure since they're both benzos and the point of use is to relax the bladder muscles, that it would still work. Well, the users online gave this advice to the woman. Sure, yes, you can. My insurance didn't cover the vaginal Valium suppositories, so I used pills and they worked just fine. I've done mm. this with Ativan and Valium, so I'm sure the Clonopin will work too. <laughs> Dr. Ish, this is crazy. Look, there is a place for everything, everything in its place. The vagina is not a good place for Clonopin. Let's <laughs> go do it, okay? Because, yeah, right? Well, and because here's the other thing, we don't know how it's going to get absorbed. This is not a suppository, this is a pill. So here's the question, would you put a Tylenol there if you had a headache? No. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do it with the clonop. Yeah. So then Dr. Leah, if someone is having these pelvic disorders, how do they get treatment? How do they get diagnosed? Yeah, I think the, the key is to really figure out what's causing this high tone pelvic floor dysfunction. So it can be from, interestingly, Children from a young age who learn different ways of voiding, so they may be taught to hold their urine for long periods of time, over time, that can actually lead to this high tone function because they're, they're used to having that tight muscle. Same thing with women who have had pelvic trauma, pelvic surgery, um, somebody who has interstitial cystitis or endometrial, endometriosis, which is pelvic pain conditions, your natural reaction is to tense up, to block yourself from the pain. Interestingly, we see this in women who have been longtime um, followers of, or, of practicing Pilates or doing different mm. exercises that actually keep your pelvic floor very tight. So the key thing is to remember when you're doing Kegels, when you're doing Pilates, you really want to completely relax that pelvic floor in between the exercises because over time you actually can develop this kind of problem and really the cornerstone of therapy is pelvic floor physical therapy I can't say that enough if that's not effective we do have treatments like Botox in the vagina or trigger point injections that can be effective good point mm -hmm. dr. Leah thank you so much great information thank you.